Well, since the beginning of the pandemic, you have trusted us, and because of us, we have our medical expert. That's who you trust, Dr. Pyle Coley. She is here to deliver all the facts without any of the fear. Welcome, Dr. Coley. Thank you, guys. Great to be here. It's really lovely to see you in person after a long, long time. Yes, you too. Thank you. Absolutely. Now, before okay, we get... you too. Okay. <laughs> get to the you got to bring up our color, beautiful segment. green. Yeah. yeah, we do want a green screen challenge if anyone's interested on this gorgeous Kelly Green right here for Dr. Coley. <laughs> all right, now, before we get to how to stay cool during the summer heat, we wanted to get an update on some COVID-19 news first. So a woman recently passed away after contracting two variants of COVID at the same time. What are the odds, Doc? Incredibly rare. That's the good news. Okay. But to me, it really sets off a flag that the variants are almost behaving like different viruses. So it's like you can get the flu and get COVID at the same time. And that's oh. kind of the concern with this is that now that we have so many variants, Alpha, Beta, Delta, Gamma, and the list goes on and on and on, that it's almost like having multiple viruses teaming up together. Wow. So Dr. Coley, if some people have natural immunity to the virus because they've already had COVID-19, do they still need the vaccine? Such I know a lot a of people question. are talking about this. A lot of people talking about this. So how many times have you guys gotten colds? Lots. Over and over and over. Coronavirus belongs to a family of viruses that is, causes the cold virus. So the natural immunity goes away. That's why you need the vaccine, to boost that natural immunity and make it last longer. Oh, is there a time span, like six months, two months, so that people are immune, or there's not a specific time span? Very interesting. It depends on how sick you got with the initial infection. Okay. So the people that only had loss of taste or smell or didn't feel anything at all, their immunity might go away a lot faster mm. than somebody who got super Really sick. sick. Wow. Yeah. All right. Well, let's talk about this heat because, in the words of Nelly, it is hot in here and all across <laughs> the country. So, what was the rest uh, of that? <laughs> <break? laughs> What are some things that we can do to keep from getting sick when the temperatures hit the 90s and above? Yeah, it's been hot here in Denver, and as you know, we have dry heat. So a few things to do. One is to keep your home really, really cool. So the way to do that is to keep your optimal temperature during the day less than 90, mm. and at night less than 75. The second thing is to keep your body cool. What's the best way to do that? From the inside, by drinking lots of water. From the outside, by wearing loose clothes and spraying yourself with some water mm. and then stay out of the heat in the middle of the day. So you guys like to exercise? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the mornings. Does. It has to be in the mornings. It has to be in the mornings. It has yeah, to be in the mornings. Sure. Oh. So before 7 a.m. or after, after 8 yes. p.m. Because oh. otherwise you will be at a high risk of heat related illness. Yeah. I do. I did hear that in terms of and I hate to bring into this, but in terms of heat related deaths across the country and the world, more people are die from heat than almost anything else naturally disaster wise combined. It's an incredibly dangerous situation wow. that you can find yourself in. As you said, water. Are there foods? There, there are, are like foods. Water, like well, watermelon. I'm thinking cool water <laughs> filled things. Okay, so lots of water. Okay. What you want to avoid? Alcohol, Tori. Yeah, call her out. Call her out. Uh, not, Sorry. Uh, not, for me, caffeine, because uh, all of those types oh of foods, no. high sugary drinks, um, protein rich meals, because they're really hard to digest. So our body gets busy digesting rather than cooling us off. And all of these things make you actually urinate more. So they end up dehydrating you mm -hmm. when you're out in the heat, which can already happen. So light meals, yes. refreshing meals, maybe some fish, I'm feeling. You just make it natural. <laughs> <Anything laughs> <with water. laughs> Not too heavy protein meal, that an example of a good meal. Just go on an all water yeah. diet, that's just, it. Oh, God. So, salads, <laughs> but let me be clear about the water, too, because you're losing sweat and you're replacing it yes. with water. So, you kind of want to drink more electrolyte rich solutions like coconut water, not those sugary drinks like Gatorade. So Pedialyte as well, right? That's right. Yeah, and you be extra careful, Lindsay, because <laughs> pregnant women are even more susceptible to heat related oh, illness. Wow. Oh, man, I'm staying in the AC that's with right. my water, with my coconut water. <laughs> that's right. And your Crocs. And your Crocs. You should check them out. <laughs> right, They're amazing. We'll get them in the end crocs. of the show. <laughs> She's bedazzled her Crocs, guys, with Chanel. It's amazing. Thank you so much, Dr. Dr. Coley.